I had someone send me an email this week asking me about the difference between ballistic and dynamic stretching and whether or not leg swings were ballistic or dynamic. Now, I went and had a look to just clarify things a bit further, even for myself to be honest. I know on my website I classify them as ballistic, but I don't think I give them as an example within dynamic. Now, through what I found as I did the research, it turned out that leg swings can actually be both. They can be either ballistic or they can be dynamic. And the main difference between them is that if it is dynamic, a dynamic stretch is a slow controlled stretch and normally stays within the basic range of movement. You might feel a kind of more gentle stretch throughout a dynamic movement because it's a controlled, slower movement. And so if they're swinging their leg slowly, then it's actually gonna be a dynamic stretch. Whereas if they're swinging their leg really fast, trying to get it to go up higher than it normally would and kind of springing back down from the stretch on the hamstring, then that means it's actually going to be a ballistic stretch because ballistic stretches are faster and they seek to push the stretch or the, the joint's range of motion beyond what it already is. So you're trying to push it that bit further and you're bouncing at that top. So if you're swinging your leg quickly, trying to get it really up high and it's going up and coming straight back down really quick, then that's really a ballistic stretch and you're probably going to do that multiple times up and down. Whereas a dynamic hip swing or a leg swing, which is all for your hip, is going to be slower, more controlled. It'll still go up towards the top of your range of motion, but you're not going super fast to try and push it beyond where it would normally kind of stop. And so that's your difference in terms of whether or not a leg swing is ballistic or dynamic. And it also gives us a bit more insight into the difference between the two, because the word dynamic can just mean anything that moves. And so the leg is moving, and therefore in one sense it's dynamic no matter what. But in order to distinguish it from something that is ballistic that might also have movement in it, that's the difference. The dynamic ones are slower and more controlled and are within the general range of motion, feels more like a normal kind of a stretch, whereas a ballistic movement is faster, it's a little less controlled, and it has that bouncing aspect at the top where you're kind of stretching something and it's springing back down, and that can be a ballistic stretch. And so then when you apply it to other stretches, you can see like a lunging stretch. If you're lunging and walking forward in a slow controlled motion, that's gonna be a dynamic stretch. But if you lunge and then kind of bounce a bit at the bottom and try and push your stretch a bit further and then you're using the whole lunge to bounce, to bounce then it is actually gonna be a ballistic stretch, even though there's still movement and classified as dynamic as well it is also a ballistic stretch. So it's a nice little distinguishing feature there between uh, dynamic stretching and ballistic.